five birds that we brought up from Cape Town originally all came from the Acropolis, which is the high part of the Great Zimbabwe ruins. They were removed in 1891 by James Theodore Bin, which was an early explorer and archaeologist. He'd been sent up to Mithonland specifically by Cecil Rhodes to investigate the, the Great Zimbabwe ruins. He hid them in a cave somewhere near to the ruins for a little while and then returned subsequently and transferred them down to the Cape. They went over to the UK where they were put on display for a while and I gather that if it hadn't been for the intervention of Rhodes at the time, they would probably have ended up in the, in the British Museum. So, in a sense, we have Rhodes to thank for the fact that these birds are still in fact in southern Africa. Uh, he got them returned to South Africa where they went into the South African Museum in Cape Town and that's where they've been on display ever since. Um, recently, when we had to remove all the displays in our museum down at the Great Zimbabwe Room due to the, the war activity in the area, um, we felt that here was an opportunity of redesigning the contents of the museum, doing up new displays, in incorporating the latest research data so that we could present to the public the, the latest thinking on the development of Zimbabwe. Uh, obviously, one of the things that we would like to put on display are the original birds, rather than casts of these things. So, a couple of years ago, we started negotiating with the South African Museum for the return of these birds. And about four or five months ago, we concluded an exchange agreement whereby they would hand over to us the entire collection of five Zimbabwe birds uh, in their museum in return for a collection of Hymenoptera, that is, ants, bees and wasps, uh, that was in our National Museum in Bulawayo. The Hymenoptera collection consists of about 30,000 specimens, of which about 1,000 are type specimens. So Obviously, they were getting an extremely valuable, one, one can almost say a priceless collection, in return for the collection that we were getting, which was equally priceless and extremely valuable, both from a display and a research point of view. Once we unpacked the birds, which at the moment are in the stores there in the Queen Victoria Museum, they will be taken down to Great Zimbabwe Ruins and put on display there, hopefully being able to open the museum again to the public in about June. Uh, it is thought by some of the leading archaeologists, particularly Professor Huffman, who is Professor of Archaeology at the University of the Lipard Islam, that each of the seven birds that were found on the Acropolis represent a particular mumbo or chief of the Rosli, the, the predecessors or ancestors, if you like, of the Shona people of, of this country. Uh, there are altogether eight birds, the, the eighth one having been found not on the Acropolis but down in the valley ruins of Great Zimbabwe. And this particular bird, which is the one that appears on our flag and on our coins and currency and so forth, this particular one was found at the Phillips ruins where, again according to Huffman, the wives of the Mambo lived and therefore where the children were potential future rulers of the Rosby. So possibly this particular bird was there as a form of protection or perhaps even as an intermediary with the, with the spirit world.